I take great pride in introducing Ms. Makeda London, who works in my congressional district. Ms. London has devoted more than 30 years of help in Chicago as a social service provider, be it a faculty member, a substitute teacher, a leader in the public health community, or a director of a community learning center. It is her 14 years of service as the director of the Healthy Families Home Visitation Program at the Near North Health Services Corporation located in the Winfield Moody Health Center that gives us the honor of hearing her today. Ms. London serves the families from the Cabrini Green Public Housing Development in an area known for its crime and difficulties. She has brought invaluable support and resources to thousands of Chicagoans. Her experiences will surely help increase our understanding of home visiting and how the Education Begins at Home Act can promote family well-being. So we certainly thank her and welcome her here today. Uh, Chairman Miller and um, Congressman Davis and the other distinguished committee members, thank you for inviting me here to provide testimony on my experience with home visitation services in Chicago, Illinois. I am a Healthy Families Program Manager and Family Support Services Coordinator for Near North Health Service Corporation. Today I share with you the benefits of my experience about the characteristics of a successful home visitation program and the benefit of a federal investment in such services for our families and our young children. The Healthy Families Program at Winfield Moody Health Center presently serves 41 families in the Near North community. Our intensive home visitation services are offered to new parents, pregnant and parenting women, and children up to age three. Since the inception of the program 14 years ago, our home visitors have successfully completed 14,000 home visits. The Near North community where our Healthy Families Program is located uh, 14 years ago has certainly changed. The high-rise buildings and row houses that make up the Cabrini Green housing development for many years are daily being demolished, literally being torn down as we meet here today. This infamous community, better known for its crimes, its gangs and blight, has been a backdrop of the home visitation services of the Healthy Families Program. It has been among this unsafe environment that home visitors of our program have been more uh, like a battlefield where the assessment workers and the home visitors have reported for duty, armed only with their prenatal and their parenting curriculums, developmental screenings and safety materials, their smiles and their love for the community, and their passion for their work. This kind of commitment to work has forged trusting relationships with our participants that often last a long time after the children have graduated from our program at age three. Within this challenging environment, we have been able to make great strides with our program participants, leading to a better early childhood development outcomes for our children. The Near North Healthy Families Program, who's healthy, is a part of the Healthy Families Illinois Network um, and the uh, large-scale longitudinal evaluation that examines that program's impact on parents and children's outcome. Among the many benefits of participating in this program, the evaluation found that parents involved in Healthy Family Services demonstrated significantly greater improvement skills that foster their child's growth during the infant's first six months of life. At two years, the families receiving Healthy Family Services compared to those receiving other usual services offered their children a wider array of materials to stimulate the cognitive development. Every day I see the tremendous impact that quality early childhood home visitation has on families in my community. Parents who lack parenting skills graduated from parenting classes. Parents who had little knowledge of their child's developmental stages anticipate visits from home visitors so they can complete their child's age appropriate ages and stages developmental screening. Parent-child interaction has changed from mere television watching with their children to interactive play between parents and children at the Children's Museum. Parents who were among the many others who believed that the only time you took your child to the doctor was when your child was sick now see the benefit of preventive and regularly bringing their children to the doctor for well child visits and immunizations. Two of our parents, uh, Lakeisha and Pam, Lakeisha came in and she was a member, has been a member and a participant in the program for five years. 
Today, Lakeisha is an entrepreneur, a massage therapist. She was trained following the resources of her home visitor as a breastfeeding peer counselor, was employed, and is very, very motivated. She has two beautiful children today. Another participant, Pam, uh, who is a mother, single mother of seven children, is battling now relocation from Cabrini Green Housing. She has a mother who is ill and blind, and not only the relocation and the housing being an issue for her, working with her home visitor, we know that she will re be re relocated uh, to better housing from uh, the work with the home visitor. But Pam now serves as our advisory council chairperson. What I'd like to summarize is the benefits uh, that we see coming from the education uh, beginning at home. The training and the supervision, the co community collaboration, the evaluation, all three are requirements of the bill. In order to ensure quality of home visits, our home visitors receive training. The training increases the home visitors' uh, knowledge. It develops their skills to meet the challenges uh, that the program participants face and the home visitors in achieving these outcomes with family. The initial training that they get for core training uh, is added to that ongoing trainings. Effective supervision is a part of it. The Healthy Families Program uh, is, a is a program, a home visitation program that is important to us and it is a part of a community health center uh, which is the basis of our participants coming into the program. It is, I urge today, that this committee begin and move this leg legislation toward enactment. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Danny Davis, and our Executive Director, Dr. Uh, um, Bernice Mills Thomas. Thanks you very much for this participation in this committee. <laughs>